In this screencast, I'll show you how we can use cell arrays in MATLAB. Cell arrays can store any kind of data, including numeric data as well as strings, but it's actually most useful for storing strings. I'll show you how we can index into cell arrays and discuss some useful functions like length, sort, unique, intersect, and is member. To give an example, suppose we have a set of names that we want to store uh, in some data structure. Now we can enter the names of people like Beatrice, Anna, Christina, and Anna in a cell array using this notation. So now names contains this set of strings enclosed by the curly brackets. So that indicates that MATLAB should use a cell array. And note that the names here are separated by commas. Now we can index into the cell array as follows. Suppose we want to retrieve the second element from this cell array. Then we can say names and between curly brackets uh, two, that's the index. And then we get the second string from this cell array, Anna. Now if we want to retrieve multiple elements from a cell array, and this is slightly confusing, we should not use the curly brackets. Suppose we want to retrieve the second and third element. Now we have to use the parentheses and we get back Anna and Christina. Let's look at the workspace to see how internally MATLAB stores these uh, data types. So names is of the data type cell array and is of size one by four because we have four elements in this cell array. Now we can actually assign the result of some cell array to another variable. So we could say x equals names to three. So we now assign the result of this subset to the variable x and note that x is here a also a cell array of size one by two. Now there's a number of useful functions with cell arrays. One is that we can find the length of cell arrays by the length function. So the size of x is two because x contains two elements. We can sort cell arrays if they have string values. So we can sort the names and the result is the set of names uh, sorted in alphabetical order. We can also use the unique function to get the unique elements of the cell array. So note here that the double entry of Anna is now removed and also unique uh, creates the output in alphabetical order. There's also a useful function intersect. So suppose we have our cell array names and we have another cell array containing the elements Beatrice, Christine, and Debbie. Now intersect finds the intersection of these two cell arrays. In this case, that's Beatrice and Christina. Finally, there's a function is member. So suppose we want to test if Beatrice is a member of the cell array names. The answer is yes or one. The, the outcome is, is true. And we can also use another syntax of is member where we return two uh, values, whether a particular name is a member of, or whether a particular string is a member of the cell array, but also if it is a member, what the location is in the uh, cell array. And the result of this is that uh, yes, Anna is a member of, is part of the cell array names and the location in names is, is two.